Hey, it's Constance Fry with Charming Custom Crafts and McFry Market. Charming Custom Crafts here on Facebook. You can or on YouTube. You can find me out here on Facebook and my store here for anybody to sell and buy on um, Facebook here. And these are the two to contact me if you want to sell or buy. If you're looking for something, contact me through McFry Market at Verizon.net. Or if you want to chit chat or and anything else that I have for requests, always know that this is a way to contact me. Um, this is card number 11. This is my Winterland bombshell. Um, and I, some, like I said, some cards I know the name to when I'm making them, some of them I don't because I can envision it in my head. Um, but this is in my walking into Winter Wonderland bombshell. But she's in my Wonderland bombshell. If you guys will notice who she is, she, I don't know the name of her, but I know she is from the Greeting Firm collection. Um, I think she's more of, she's attributed to um, Marilyn Monroe, and I, I do, adore, um, and I just love how I used um, the different color, Prismacolors in her hair, and I slightly edged it, went back and edged it with my light peach on the Prismacolors, glossy accent in her eyes and just around her lips, and if you need to uh, notice that her, her, um, her, um, Wrap is fluffy. That is liquid applique. Again, if you uh, heat emboss it after it dries after 24 hours, it does get puffy. Um, and then I did do um, the brush with um, I think it's a brush, Gloss, a brush or a mirror um, with glossy accents to highlight it a little bit. Um, this particular flower was given to me from somebody months and months ago. Um, it was from Terry. Um, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful, a beautiful uh, flower. I, I do like the dye, but it takes a lot of work to flip them over and flip them over. I added some liquid pearl to it. I did trim off the edge of it because it worked. Uh, the pearl trim, I believe, I bought from Adele. Uh, like I said, I do sell pearl trim, but I do buy it to, to add to my collection so that I always have it to do whatever I want. And then these I got back uh, a while back uh, on clearance, and I just it, it just worked out perfectly on the colors. Liquid Pearls and my favorite Glimmer Glue in the back from Studio G. Um, this is a, again, leftover piece uh, um, from last year's collection of paper that I used. <clears throat> I was going to use it for a layout, but I decided to cut it down. It just worked great for the whole color scheme that I was looking for. Liquid Pearls, some of the dots that were at the bottom to give it some more dimension. Added some Liquid Pearl after I um, edged it with some, I think... I didn't use red ink. I used Tim Holtz um, mahogany stain to get that. Believe it or not, it is more of a red look. So when I put the uh, glimmer glue across the bottom of it, it went more red, which I really like the whole look. Um, <clears throat> so I did color her. She is pop dotted. This is flat done. This is hot glue done. This is already sticky. The nice thing about some of the gems are super sticky. Um, so, and I did, I think, yeah, I glitter glued uh, with Glimmer Studio G on the edges. And then on the inside it says let it snow and you can see where the, um, this paper is from Marisol from my swap. It's one of the silk papers. It's one of my favorites. I did also use the Studio G, uh, or no, Studio Tim Holtz mahogany uh, dauber uh, to do the edging of the card. Again, if you notice it does go red on certain colors. It came out great. It came out exactly what I wanted. It did slightly stain the edges, which I really liked how it looked. It gave it just more of another dimension. Um, <clears throat> this was a gift tag in the back that I got. I don't even remember when, <clears throat> but I had glued it down, but it says to and from behind it and I didn't like it, but I love the whole snowflake behind. So I took another, um, chipboard, um, sticker from the collection from Walmart either. I think it was two years ago. And again, I liked it so much. I ended up going back and getting three or four more sets, especially after Christmas. Um, but the color schemes go great with a lot of the papers from a year or two ago. And these were leftover scrap papers. And I used some of my favorite Studio G Glimmer Glue. Um, I think a lot of people call them um, the icicle one with stickles. Um, but I, I went down the, the dots and made it more of a rope. And then did, did the hearts in between the Christmas trees. And then um, this was already glitter glued. And the gem was already there. And it just worked out. I did put... Um, uh, with some glitter glue here so it looked more like another gem in there. Um, but this one is my um, Wonderland bombshell. And I hope you like the pictures and stay tuned. There's a whole lot more coming because this was just card 11.